Today we get to meet Aaron from Aaron Spain Blog. So put down those saws and glue guns, guys. It's time to meet a maker. Hi guys, welcome back, I'm Sarah, and today we're gonna meet a maker from Atlanta who loves sharing her passion for all things DIY and learning new skills to inspire others. This is Erin. My name is Erin Spain, and I'm a DIY blogger, and I've been blogging for about eight years at erinspain.com, and I recently started my YouTube channel in the fall to sort of supplement my blog and my Instagram and create DIY tutorials, which I've really, really enjoyed. Um, my goal has always been to challenge myself to learn new skills and hopefully inspire other people to do the same and show them that if I can do these things, then you can definitely do them too. Ooh, uh, I would say recently it's probably been my compact handheld circular saw. I really, really love it. It's a new addition to my toolbox and it's just super lightweight, very, very compact and easy to use. So it comes in handy for all sorts of different projects. Okay, this is a really, really hard one to answer just because I've been doing this for so long and it's really hard to narrow it down and choose. I would say it's a toss up between two projects. One of them is my Ikea dresser hack. I did this project for my blog a while back and then I replicated it and did it again so that I could share a video tutorial on my YouTube channel once I launched that channel. Um, I definitely love it. I, I did it for my kids' room and it's sort of been a fan favorite too and, and I think it's my most popular YouTube video so far. The other project that I would say is my favorite is a more recent project and it is my mini day bed that I built for the reading nook in our playroom. And I used our old crib mattress which I sort of upcycled and repurposed for this project and I, I made sure to customize the size of the day bed to accommodate the crib mattress. And I was really excited to be able to use that again since otherwise we would have just had to get rid of it. Okay, so this is difficult because my channel is so small and so new and doesn't have a lot of content on it yet, so I don't really follow many channels that are smaller than mine. Um, but one channel that I love that is relatively small and should be a lot bigger than it is is my friend Charlotte Smith from At Charlotte's House. She is so talented and creative. She's great at DIY projects, craft projects. She shares decorating tips and ideas. We actually hosted a podcast together for quite some time and you can find the archives to that available on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and Spotify. It's called North South Makers. Um, but definitely check out At Charlotte's House on YouTube and on her blog and Instagram. So I'm currently in quarantine and I'm working on a living room slash office makeover. I actually call the room my mom cave because it's sort of where I hide away from my kids when I need to just have some time alone. So I've been working on making that room over during quarantine time, trying to challenge myself to use things that I already have in the house. Um, I will probably order a couple of things, but for the most part, I'm just sort of pulling from different parts of the house and putting it together. So I hope to share that very soon. Thanks again so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And be sure to check out my Instagram at Erin Spain blog. And you can find me on my website, erinspain.com, as well as YouTube at Erin Spain DIY. Thanks for joining us today, Erin. If you're not already following her, I'll link to her YouTube channel in the description. I want to thank Heart for sponsoring this episode and reminding us that we can build anything we can imagine if we do it with Heart. If you love DIY as much as I do, be sure to subscribe before you go. And don't forget to join us this and every Friday for the next Maker Break. I'll see you then.